Big rebound. rebound by number 44, Alec Hanshaw, for his first two. Buffalo battling on the boards so far here in the first half action. Totally now over to Sanders. Isaiah Koontz guarded nicely, almost loses the handle, gets it back over to Carpenter. Carpenter, a little spin move. Kicks back over to Tully. Tully will shoot that three. And the hot hand starting to feel it. Jace Tully for his second three. Again, Tully burnt them for 29 the first time they met earlier in the season. As Lincoln County came away with a 67-61 win. And just like that, the Panthers are back in lead 16 to 15 with six minutes to go as Buffalo comes firing right back just off the mark. But a nice board by 25, England. England, England taking playing. up strong. Oh. England is getting after it. Yes, he is. He's active on the glass. We've got number 31, Will Carpenter, his second. Something to watch for later on. Jackson England, who's already pulled down at least five or six boards tonight. Oh, yeah. Really impressed, uh, you know, with uh, Jackson England. Oh, he is definitely an athlete. You can he shows that showcase that tonight. A couple spin move baskets, but like I said, he's been a beast so far on the boards and something oh, Lincoln County's going to have to deal with. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're going to have to get a body on this kid. Yeah. Well, young man. Yeah, exactly. Second one is up and off just the off the mark. mark. Nice hustle. Rebound by 41, getting after it. That yeah. is uh, Whittington. Looks like possession will stay with the Bisons. It went off either Isaiah or Scooter. Couldn't really tell. That's, you know, you've seen David Whittington for Buffalo go after the ball there, you know, and that's where hustle pays off. Yep. And there's some more hustle for the Panthers. It's almost get the turn. They all get the turnover. It goes off England's leg. Nice job by Isaiah Coons. The defensive mastermind. Just everywhere. Just has a head for being in the right spot at the right time. Tully now over Scooter Phillips. Phillips swings it back to the top. You see Lincoln County maybe trying to get something in the middle here. As Isaiah, I mean Sanders now. Trying to set up the pick and roll with Blankenship. Blankenship double teamed. Kicks over to Sanders. Sanders. Sanders kicks over to the corner to Coots. Off the <sighs> mark. Rebound pulled down by Hanshaw. Kicks out to Thompson. Thompson looking to push. The little nice, scoop nice by scoop Ian Thompson. Under, Noah Thompson, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. That was Ian Thompson. Ian Thompson. There's two of them there. It's Tully now. Pushes back the other way for the Panthers. Nice Wide open into Blankenship. Blankenship. Nice take. Tully does a nice job of, of making them have to take him and then finds the open. Blank and ship for the two. England now. Over to Ian Thompson for three. three. Off the back of the rim. There's Blank and ship with another board. He looks to push now. Kicks over to Jackson Sanders. Kicks to the corner to Coots. Yeah, we're going to get a block off. on 44. All right, Canshaw. That's his first. As you can see, Tully here draws everything to him and then Wide open was Blankenship and does a nice job by taking it to the basket, which is exactly what you do in that situation. Tully now looking inbound over to Scooter Phillips. Phillips kicks to the middle to Blankenship. Blankenship dribbles in. Little runner just comes up short. The possession will stay as it goes off of England's hands. Yeah, it looked like uh, Roy was trying to back slap it over to England uh, there. Maybe just got away from him. Isaiah Coons, a nice cut. Oh, just in and out, and finished. rebound goes to England. That was a good hustle recovery there for David Whittington. Yeah, Isaiah had a beautiful cut there. Nice look, just came up a little short. Thompson now, top of the key. Over to Whittington, Thompson. nice look. Whittington. Again, they've been very active as they regained the lead, 20 to 18 with 4.05 to go here in the second quarter. Whittington was moving very well without the ball, and, you know, and Thompson found him streaking to the basket. Coons, Coons from top three. of the key. Off the mark, pulled down by England. Again, he has been, you got to get a body on him because he has been very active on the boards. England now. Roy for three. Just in and out, rebound, fought for, and Roy gets it back. We're looking to penetrate. Up oh, will get a walkie. Got yeah. airborne and didn't know what to do with it. 
Yeah, he got a little – I mean, you can't fault there. That was a good hustle play by Roy. Yeah, he got know, airborne. He knew we had to go through. The Panthers did a nice job of cutting off the passing lane who was wanting to take it to, and he was stuck. Well, I think he maybe was looking to spin to go in, and yeah. then there was two Panthers there. And, like I say, they know what you can do. Totally now. Buffalo staying in. It's like a matchup zone I think they got going on here. A little one-three-one action. Phillips over to Coons. Coons into Sanders. Nice, nice cut. We'll get, get a block, block on. Uh, gets number fourteen. On Edward England, twenty-five. That's his second. Something to watch for is England has to check out now with three twenty-one to go. You don't want to pick up that cheap third. It's a big loss for, for Buffalo. Like I said, he's, he's been everywhere tonight. Yeah, he's like their energizer bunny. Totally now into Phillips. Kicks over to Cam Blevins, checking in for the Panthers. Blevins thought about the three. Pulls it back out, glided totally now. Brings it back out, top of the key. And looks to penetrate in. Totally, the little step away. Up and in. Nice shot by Jace Tully with a little fade away. Tully's feeling it tonight. Great little separation for himself and then. Yeah, it was a smooth J as Lincoln County now. Looks like they're in a 2 3 zone. Deep three. Just long and there's. Roy pulls it down. Possession will go off of Buffalo and go with the Panthers, but man, I'm telling you, Buffalo is crashing the boards hard. That was a deep three by uh, Noah Thompson. Um, yeah, that was from the parking lot. <laughs> but like you say, uh, Roy was there totally in now. good position to get the rebound. Blevins for three. And, and Blevins, Blevins for his first three. That's big. Cam Blevins, his first shot of the night, and he connects on it as Lincoln County regains the lead 23-20. Thompson Both. thought about it again. Ian Thompson now looking to make a move, penetrate in. Up. And we're going to charge, and guess who it was? Scooter, the charge machine, Phillips. So, he's averaging two. one per quarter. One so per far. quarter. He may go for four or five tonight. Totally now. Kicks over, over to Blevins. Blevins into Scooter Phillips over to Coons. Coons looking inside, oh. trying to make a tough pass. Tipped by Buffalo. Buffalo looks to save it. Run down by Blankenship. Nice hustle. Coons now. Blevins wide open from the corner. Oh, oh just off the mark. Play. Rebound think, comes up by Buffalo. That's number 20, Bradley open. Harris looking to push it. Harris now guarded nice defense by the Panthers. Harris pulls it back out. Tries to set up the offense. Kicks and, over to Thompson. Noah Thompson now back over to Harris. Here's to Thompson. To Roy for three. Off the back of the glass. Rebound by Harris. Harris into number four. Whittington can't connect. Possession went off Campbell Evans. Stay with Buffalo. Again, Buffalo may not have the size. They don't have any six, 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 seven, but they right. bang the boards hard. They do, and they they will chuck the threes up too. And we get a there's a steal by Isaiah Coons. We're going to jump, jump ball. ball. Jump ball. Get a little bit of uh, extracurricular activity. Been a 23-20 game. Can expect a little bit like that. Oh, I missed it. A little bit just, uh, you know, jawing back and forth a little bit. I'm sure he is asking if each other was okay. <laughs> yes, I'm sure that's exactly <laughs> what they were asking. <laughs> Fierce just took that one out of control, didn't it? Yeah. Ian Thompson now looks yeah. inbound for the Bisons. Just trying to help each other out. Thompson now. Harris Ready thought three. about it. Kicks over to the other Thompson for <laughs> deep three. And he went on just thinking, oh, we're going to get a foul. Yeah, we're going to get Isaiah Coons. Yeah, just going hard for the board. Yeah, he missed the ball. Isaiah picks up his second. Yeah, Isaiah was just going up hard for that rebound, got a hold of uh, number 41. That was uh, David Winnington, who's, again, another one's been active on the boards tonight. As you can see, 
They got England back in the game with 103 to go. I think Isaiah thought he was intercepting a pass in football, Brian. <laughs> Yeah, he does play safety. Almost a walk. Harris fumbled around with it. Nice spin on Blevins. Good defense by Cam Blevins. Rebound goes to Phillips. Jackson Sanders now looking to push up the floor. Over Kick to Phillips. Over Phillips. Blevins thought about the three. Picks it back out to Phillips. Sanders now from the corner. Thought about it. Swinging it around. 37 seconds to go here. See if Lincoln County maybe will settle for the final shot. They're taking their time, being very patient on offense, looking for the open shot, and there's Blevins for three just off, off the mark. mark. That's a good look by Blevins, though. Yep, rebound goes to England, pushed up to Harris. Harris now looking to make something happen. Wiles, he pulls it back out. England. Gets it to England. Over to Thompson. Ian Thompson drives. A little skip in and out. It looks like we'll get a uh, tip out on the Panthers, but... Man, David Winton come flying in there. I thought we might get an over the back call on that one, but Jackson, Jackson, yeah, Jackson. I, I don't know. I think maybe it's a good no call. Yeah, uh, but yeah, <laughs> Harris now come in a little bit Thompson. out of control. Tries Winnington. to get into the Winnington. Nice save. Nice look as they get Nick Roy for two. Just kind of fell their way. That uh, whoa. So it's the end of the first half. Lincoln County 23, Buffalo 22. A little back and forth action, what we've seen this whole first half action. So I think the second half, folks, just hold on, strap in, and get ready for a wild second half, as I think we'll see. We'll take just a quick break in the action to get some bills paid. This is some of our sponsors. We'll be back here with a little second half analysis. There's a cute guy from 12C. Go talk to him. Yeah, no. Plus, it's not even like he'd be into me or whatever. just moved in, right? I would love to tell you about all the great savings you can get for bundling your renters and car insurance with Progressive. Oh, I was just... Oh, Tammy! I found your retainer in the dryer. Our world has changed a lot in a short time, but your health and safety remains our number one priority. We have the supplies needed and processes in place to keep you safe. We've implemented visitor restrictions and we are reducing physical contact as much as possible. Patients and employees are required to wear masks for your protection and theirs. And your care team is screened daily. So don't wait to get the care that you need. Logan Regional Medical Center, always here for you. Kinzel Law Office is a local firm located at 36 Adams Street in Chapmanville. Rob Kinzel has been practicing law in Logan County for over 15 years and is dedicated to providing quality legal representation for personal injury, criminal defense, and family law for individuals and families throughout Southern West Virginia. Call Kinzel Law Office today to set up your free consultation. Rob Kinzel, quality legal services close to home. Little General Stores knows West Virginia, but what some may not know is what LG is doing in your communities. And I'm here to tell you how Little General, with the strength of their 100 plus stores, is helping to enrich lives and empower families in West Virginia. Like the Nora Mae Huggins Cancer Research Endowment Fund, which is fighting to cure cancer every day right here in West Virginia. Locally owned and operated, LG has always been there and always will be. Little General Stores, committed to West Virginia.
over here too? Injury at any age can be a game changer. But Marshall Orthopedics, the area's only comprehensive sports medicine practice, is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Orthopedics takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Always here for you, Thornhill GM Superstore. Expect the best. Get even more with our new Thornhill Value Plus Warranty. 10 years, 150,000 mile limited powertrain warranty on most all vehicles. Get in on all the savings. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and thornhillgmsuperstore.com. Do you need to see a doctor fast? At Logan Regional Medical Center Primary Care Walk-In Clinic, we know your time is valuable. Our new facility is designed to provide patients with the opportunity to walk in and quickly be seen by the doctor without having to make an appointment. We are open Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. at 384 Airport Road in Chapmanville. For more information, please call 304-239-8090. set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles it can be that way again tire pros hassle free guaranteed the road to total savings starts here thornhill gm superstore find new roads to 119 in chapmanville your hometown full service buick chevy gmc dealer we are professional grade and community strong expect the best and save thousands with thornhill an injury at any age can be a game changer but with walk-in clinics monday through saturday the marshaler now over tolly tolly ooh, ah, big block by whittington, whittington. as the fans come back <laughs> no doubt just in time for Weekton to say not today. Yeah, he sent that to Putnam County. <laughs> Coons now. Nice hesitation fake by Coons. No little lefty runner by Isaiah Coons for his first two of the game. Ian Thompson now for the Bisons. Lincoln County in 2-3 zone. Kicks over to English. English wide open from the corner. And, and three for his first three for Jackson England. Showing a little bit of range. He can do it inside. Let's do it outside. As Tully now back for the Panthers. Again, score tied up. Phillips over to Coons. Coons back out to Carpenter. Buffalo, a little man-to-man defense here. Looks a little matchup zone. Coons now hesitates, penetrates, nothing there. Back out to Carpenter. Carpenter over to the corner to Phillips for deep two. Rebound by Blankenship. Goes in strong. Get the ball tipped out by the Bison. Possession will stay with the Panthers. I believe John had just turned and shot that back up, maybe. Yeah. Blankenship looks to penetrate nice now. Drive. Taking a hard John Blankenship. John Blankenship <laughs> takes the contact and throws in the right hand layup. Here's Ian Thompson back for the Bisons. Again, Lee Kane, a little 2 3 zone. Ian Thompson over to England. 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 A little jump shot nice to Jay. Shot by Jackson England Jackson, is England. coming out with a Quick five here to start this third period. Tully now, top of the key. Over to Phillips. Phillips now looking, taking, being patient. Berlin kind of been very patient on offense tonight. Looked like uh, Carpenter was going to get a little pick and roll action with. Coons with the one-hander, nice to Blankenship. John with a quick four points to start the third quarter here. Isaiah does a nice job. Here we go, a little jump action now. 
Kicks so in the Hannes, there's a steal. The wheel Carpenter. Carpenter now looking, looking to push. To push. Over to Tully. Nice dish. Back to Carpenter to spin move. In and out. Ian Thompson with the rebound. Thompson now. Nice look cross court. The number 44, Alec Canshaw with the tough layup. That was a nice finish. Uh, you know, Carpenter coming there and challenged that. That wasn't a give me. No, it wasn't. Nice job of Carpenter to hustle back now. The Panthers back on offense. Carpenter now over to Coons. Coons thought about it for a second. Back to Carpenter. Again, Lee kind of being very patient. Nice pass by Tull. Or, uh, Lincoln, Lincoln had the right Chip. idea. It was good, just a little bit high, and that didn't cut Scooter off, off guard just a little bit, but a nice look by Blankenship. Five minutes to go here in the beginning of the third quarter. Score 29-29. Back and forth action we've had all night tonight. Looks like the Bisons are going to take a quick timeout here. Timeout. Being the third quarter, coach wants to talk it over a little bit here. Yeah, he definitely seen something he did not like there. Well, it's interesting to see what he's trying to think about doing here. Seen you something, see. you know, maybe he's going to set something up here. Well, i tell you what, right now so far, start this third quarter. Jackson Ingles came out with a hot hand. They had the three, the quick two. And, again, and you know, so far tonight, I think the difference in the ball game for Buffalo has been their board action. They've really done a nice job on the boards. But Lincoln County, again, it's dish and kick. That they can get this movement on offense going and get some good looks inside. They'll start kicking out for the three. That's yeah. been their best offense so which, far tonight. What you can see, Buffalo, Buffalo don't want to get in a fast break game with Lincoln County. They just don't. No. You know, they want this half court, not necessarily to go inside, but they, they want to shoot some threes, and then they're going to crash the boards after they shoot it. Yes, they are. That's exactly what their offense has been. It's Thompson now. Nice block by Blankenship. Block the Blankenship over to Tully. Tully now behind his back looking to penetrate. Jace Tully kicks over to Coons. Coons, a little runner, tries nice. to get it inside. Goes I'll, to Blankenship. He did that. And Blankenship with a tough J. John Blankenship goes up on a double team and scores it. I don't know what was more impressive, the shot or the pass. <laughs> it was. Oh, Nice look inside. Nice recovery by Tully. Kicks over cross England. to England. Oh, England that's going to be the, get a, that's gonna be Scooter Phillips' uh, charge for the third period. Yep, we're going to get number 44, Ali Canshaw. That's his third. And that is Scooter Phillips' third taking charge. Was that Hanshaw was that England? That could be huge. Yeah, uh, that might have been Jackson England on that foul with the yeah, 10 that, three, which is that's uh Yeah, that was he, that's who was driving the ball there. Yeah, yeah, and Scooter does a nice job of holding his ground and selling it. Coons now. Panthers back on offense. Will Carpenter. Little spin move. Gets inside, kicks it up to Phillips for three. Just off the mark. Nice board by Whittington. Kicks out to Ian Thompson. Jogs it up the court for Buffalo. Thompson now looking to penetrate. Nice one-handed one -handed runner. Just in and out. A little bit of action here is falling out. As Scooter Phillips comes away with a tough board. Gets it over to Will Carpenter. They pushes have, up the floor to Coons. Coons looking to penetrate. Oh. Block, nice block by number 44, Allie Canshaw. Hanshaw. Hey, Coons does a nice job and just trying to scoop that under there. And when he did, Hanshaw well, was waiting looking. on it. I mean, Coons took it hard at him. And uh, – We've, what you got to do. We talked about it, you know. Good things can happen when you drive the ball. Yep, Phillips now. Over to Coons. Coons crossover. Back out to Phillips. And Carpenter sets it back up top of the key. Survey in action. Trying to maybe get this one in the middle. As Scooter Phillips kicks the blanket ship. Blanket ship strong the board. Challenged nicely by Alec Hanshaw. Board pulled down by Tom Thompson. Thompson now penetrates the little runner. The scoop. No, that's Harris. Sorry, that was Bradley Harris. A little one-handed scoop. To tie it back up with 3.11 to go here in the third period. Tully over to Phillips. And they've had a lot of success that Lincoln County has is getting it inside the blanking ship right there at the foul line. Coons now. Back up Scooter Phillips. Scooter Phillips over to Coons. Buffalo staying in his zone. Tully now looks to penetrate, and there's that nice dish inside the, the blanking ship, and looks like we'll get the two-shot foul. Yeah, he gets a guy up in the air. Uh, that's a good head fake by John. We got number 14, 
41, sorry, Dave Winnington, that's his first. At the line for two shots, is John Blankenship. John Blankenship goes to the line for his first two foul shots tonight. First oh. one's up and in, nothing but net. As you can see, replay on this head face. Yeah, you can see that John does a nice job that Euro step and kind of pump fakes, gets him in the air. Oh, yeah, he sold it good. Sold it great. Everybody bought it too. Yeah, that's exactly right. Second one's up and just off the mark. One or two for Blankenship. Harris pulls down the board. Over to Ian Thompson. Ian Thompson now looking to penetrate, tries to go inside, tip to Blankenship. Nice hustle by Sanders. Jackson Sanders, leaving some skin on the floor. Coons Isaiah comes up Coons with it. For two, Isaiah Coons. Again, nice job by Blankenship and Sanders on that steal, and then Coons to finish it off to yep. extend the lead. You know, Sanders won't get credited for the steal or the an assist there, but, you know. He did both. <laughs> Buffalo now tries to skip it inside. There's another turnover. Tully now looks to push, looks to force the action, goes in. Ball staking away. By Ian Thompson, nicely. Thompson now coming back the other way on Tully. Kicks over to other Thompson. Nice spin on Jackson. Tough shot. Stripped away by Will Carpenter, but just hit the line. Possession will stay with the Bisons. I thought he nothing but netted that one at first, Brian. <laughs> it just fell a little short by Thompson. Ian Thompson for three from the corner. Quick shot for Ian Thompson for his first three of the night. I think the Panthers just lost a little bit, lost him in the shelf a little bit. And yeah, he popped he up for wide three. Open. Wide open. Buffalo now to man to man. Tully looking to penetrate. Nice behind the back move by Tully with the right hand on the <laughs> left side. <laughs> Scoop by Jay Tully. Making it look easy, but it's a difficult shot. Yeah, the difficulty level now is about a 9.7. Jace made it look about a three. Yes. <laughs> Thompson now comes nice. right back. That's Harris. It's Harris, I'm sorry. Harris. As Lincoln Kane comes right back in oh, action. Big block by number 44. But the rebound goes to Blankenship to finish it off. So even though the block scored for the Panthers, Ian Thompson now looks to slow it up. As you can see, again, a little bit of fast pace action. He looks nice inside. Look inside the hand shot. Yeah, good dish. Got oh, Lincoln County shot. asleep. Caught the Panthers just a little bit asleep. Wouldn't think he'd make that pass, and he throws it over everyone. Ties it back up with 45 seconds to go here in the third. Tully now, top of the key, sets it up. Over to Coons. Coons goes inside to Sanders, the little runner. Just off the mark. Tully fights for the rebound, but Thompson comes away with it. Ian Thompson now coming back the other way. Nice cross, fake, Euro step. In and out, rebound will be tipped away by number 42, Nick Roy. Possession will go. As we'll look, take a quick replay as Jace Tully now, as you can see, look at the penetrate in nicely with the right hand. The little. Good looking move by Jace oh, there. <laughs> he said he made it look easy, but folks, trust us, it's not. With 23 seconds to go, the Panthers have the offense. See if they'll hold for the last shot as Tully walks it up the floor. Jace has had a really nice game here in the first half. Sets up the offense. Over to Carpenter. Just under 10 seconds left. Carpenter, Carpenter. behind the back. Tries to make something happen. Looks like we're going to walk. Whoa. Interesting call. I don't know if I saw that one. But, of course, officials are never wrong. So, with three seconds to go, Buffalo looking to get that last second shot off. Just off the mark. So, it's at end of three. Lincoln County 38. The Buffalo Bisons 38. We'll take just a quick break here in the action. Here from some of our sponsors and bring you the back to, with the fourth quarter action. At any age can be a game changer. But Marshall Orthopedics, the area's only comprehensive sports medicine practice, is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Orthopedics takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you.
An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Welcome back to Panther Pavilion, folks. Again, here at the beginning of the fourth quarter, Buffalo will have possession in a 38-38 ball game. Hey, we, and as again, I said, officials are never wrong. We got a chance to see a replay. Our producer, Eric, here said that was a good call on the walk. He did move the foot a little bit, but hard for us sometimes to see. As Buffalo take possession, Ian Thompson, top of the key, over to England, who had the really hot hand there in the third quarter. Back over to Harris. Kicks back. Oh, looking for England. Back over to Harris. Ian England. Lane County, this little 2 3 zone. England, England. drives. Shot over John Blankenship. Nice shot, little runner, little floater by Jackson England over Blankenship. Tough shot. Blankenship had a good look on that one. From Inter, I thought he might get a piece of it. Lincoln yeah, County that, now. That was a high arching, uh, you know, to get it over uh, John's long yeah. arms. Tully now. Tries to get into Blankenship. A little bit of pressure, a little spin move, fake move. Lost the handle, Tully now. Nice Looks fake to by Tully. Uh, Tries to go in, draws the contact, but no call, good no call. Again, I think Toy just lost the handle of it a little bit there. England now, top of the key, asking for some help, get it to Harris. Lane Kane now switched to man to man. Deep three by number 44, Ready? Alec Hanshaw. Toy now looking to come back. Coons now, tried to go baseline. Almost stolen and. Scooter Phillips runs it down. A little bit, little bit of trouble as Blankenship now gets it back. I think we'll get Blankenship on trying to make that spin move. Get him on the, on the travel there. Half the fans like it and half don't. Yep, yep, that's the way they always are. <laughs> I'm surprised Lincoln County hasn't tried to up the tempo of this. Uh, Lincoln County plays better, at, you know, they're better up tempo. Yeah, I look for them maybe to kind of start uh, pushing this pressure just a little bit. But uh, as you can see, Buffalo's doing a really nice job of slowing it down right now. They're happy with this pace. Oh, they played this this style ball the whole game. Uh, you know, just uh, a half court set. Shot by Harris. Rebound by Blankenship. And Blankenship now bringing it up the floor. Kicks over, over to Jace Tully. That two three zone. Buffalo staying in. Tries to force the issue to Tully, stolen by England. England, England with anticipation, back. looking to wisely pulls it back out. Harris for three, off the mark. Rebound goes to Scooter Phillips. Scooter now looking to push over to Blankenship. Buffalo does a nice job getting back on defense. Blankenship kicks over to Tully. Tully looks to penetrate. Kick Coons out to Coons. Wide open from the corner, just off the mark. Again, rebound tip, but goes to Bison's. That's number 41, David Wink, in the rebound. It's like Carpenter got in there and got a hand on the ball, freed it back up. Lincoln County maybe start to force the issue a little bit here with this man-to-man. It's going to get a white ball. We get a little replay action here, folks. As you can see, Blankenship tried to go in and should have been probably a no call there, jump ball action. But they kind of missed that one every once in a while. It happens. <laughs> Tully now. Lincoln County down 40 to 38 with five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Coons now on the wing. Looking, being very patient on offense over to Tully. And Lincoln County has some nice movement as Tully now looks to penetrate. A oh. little jump shot just off the mark. Rebound goes to England. And they've done a nice job crashing the boards this, this whole ball game, actually. I think that's probably the difference right now in the ball game for Buffalo. Nice take by Hanshaw. Hanshaw. Comes up short. Nice defense for the Panthers. Carpenter kicks up to Coots. Lincoln County looking to run. Pulls it back out. Nice hesitate there by Isaiah Coots. Jace played just short on the three. Another rebound by England. So far, Lincoln County's getting one shot on the offensive end. Looks like uh, Link Lincoln County's picking up in a man-to-man uh, Defense now. Yeah, trying to pressure the ball just a little bit is England now. Top of the key, looks to get that screen. Nice switch Gets by it. the Panthers. There's a nice job nice. of fading it off as nice Jackson England. Coach now back the other way, real quickly. 
Sets it back up. Tully calling out the offense. Skips over to Carpenter. Carpenter dribbles, kicks over to Phillips. Phillips all about a three. Tully drives to the middle, up, circus shot, off the glass, and in. Tully. It looks like we're going to get a something here, timeout. Looks like we're going to timeout for Lincoln County here with 3.37 to go here in the fourth quarter. Let's see if Plumley, uh, Coach Plumley, down 42 to 40. Buffalo's being very methodical. Like you said, they're playing their pace. Let's see if he tries to force the issue a little bit on the defensive side of the ball and get he's, this action to go pretty quickly. He's going to have to because Lincoln County plays better when when it's kind of madness. Yes. Um, when when bodies are flying and, you know, the refs are have to make a call and the fans are hollering because they want to call, they play better when it's that style. This uh, walk it up half court that Buffalo's yeah, got them in, you know, it – they just don't play well. They they have to get in the rhythm, you know, off of uh, steals. Well, um, so far, there's been two fouls this entire half. Yeah, so I mean. To go in the fourth. So that tells you how methodical this game's being played. Yeah, and it, either side can't really complain about the foul calling because there's only no. been two calls the yeah. whole half. Yeah. Baby. And I think in the whole game, maybe ten. Yeah, not many. It's Ian Thompson now. Lincoln County back in a 2-3 zone. Tully looking to force the issue a little bit. Ian Thompson now, top of the key. Buffalo will be very patient on offense. As you can see, almost a uh, stall ball in a way because they're not really anxious. They get a little penetration by Ian Thompson. Foul line jumper in and out. Rebound comes off and will stay with the Bisons. Looked like they could have got maybe Hanshaw looked like grabbed the back of Carpenter's shorts there. <laughs> Um, maybe held him up a bit. To the Bisons, into Hanshaw. There's this trap. Uh, see if they can force some some action here. And out to Thompson's. Looks like the rebound will go off the Bisons as Hanshaw tried to one hand that and just lost the lost the handle on it. So Lincoln County with 2:55 to go, still trailing by two. Yeah, and that's what that defensive possession there is what Lincoln County needs to do, you know, you yeah. get a trap, uh, to force the issue. Don't force let them just sit around passing the ball around. You want to force the issue. Mm -hmm. uh, and it'll be able to because Buffalo, as we've talked about, you know, uh, as a four seniors, I mean, they're a very experienced team. So uh, head coach Adam Scott's done a nice job coaching what he's got here in this game. Coons now. Again, Lincoln County over to Phillips in the corner. Phillips over to Carpenter. Jolie, top of the key. I say now back to Carpenter. Nice ball movement, but good defense by the Bisons. Carpenter now looks to penetrate. Koontz, Thought little about baseline. It. Over to Carpenter, a little run and one off, off the glass. glass by Will Carpenter. His first two of the night. Ties it back up with 2.20 to go here in the fourth quarter on running clock. Ian Thompson now walks it up. Tully now. Looking to force this issue a little bit. Gets it over to Roy. Again, Ian Thompson being very patient over to Harris. As you can see, Buffalo's see doing it. Panther defenders are, are easing up on this deep or uh, tightening up on this defense. Yeah, starting to get a little as Thompson now. Looks to the four little one-handed. Oh, nice move by Thompson. Yeah, Ian Thompson, again, that whole uh, Euro step action that these guys are doing now, that little – Fake one way, jump back the other way. He's been very effective as Buffalo takes the lead. Yeah, you know who was on that side? Scooter was, and he's due to for Get another charge. Oh, yeah. Farmer now over to Koontz. Koontz tries to penetrate the middle of that defense. Carpenter for three. Just off the, off the mark. The rim. And there's Nick Roy with the rebound. Tough board, and Buffalo does a nice job holding it up. England now brings across the timeline with 116 to go. Over to Harris, back to Ian Thompson, drives in, nice pass over to Nick Roy for his Roy. first two. Nice cut. Yeah, Ian Thompson, sophomore, does a nice job of drawing the defense and find the open man now. For Lincoln County may have to force this action a little bit. Yeah, we're drawing the man up, Brian. Tolley for three. Just like that, Jace Tolley cuts the lead to one. We'll get a timeout for the Panthers. 
So with 53.4 seconds to go here in the ball game, Buffalo leads 46-45. It's going to be really interesting to see what the Panthers do, Coach Plummy decides to do come out of this timeout. Yeah, this uh, I, I kind of look for they're going to have to press. I mean, they're going to have to to get in some defensive sets to try to get a turnover. As you can see in the replay here, Blankenship's just trying to force the action to get inside, and he does a nice job kicking out the Tully for the wide open three. You know, Blankenship did a nice job kind of shielding off that time for Tully as Tully was wide open for the three. So, as you can see now, Lincoln County looks like they're going to set up in this full court press. So, the Bisons, again, with that senior leadership, let's see how well they can handle the press. Gets it into England. England kicks out to Ian Thompson. Handles it well. Oh, and stolen Thompson by Tully. Tully now pulls it back out with 45 seconds to go. Again, the Panthers down one. He sets it up top of the key. Over to Phillips. 35 seconds now. Get into Blankenship. Blankenship looks to make a nice spin move. Spin. Hard up, up by the senior. Blankenship, John Blankenship for two. So Lincoln County regains the lead, 47-46 with 22 Thought seconds to go. Thought back up in that press, Brian. So Buffalo Henshaw by looks Henshaw. to take wow. it slow in the Blankenship. Wow. Blankenship. In a little bit of trouble here. Wisely, wow. there's a the senior calling a timeout. Time that was a little bit of trouble. So with 10.8 seconds to go oh, in the no, ball no. game. Oh, no, no. We're going to get a foul here. We're going to foul. They called the foul. Maybe on Buffalo, I, I think. What's going on. Not for sure. No timeout. No timeout. No timeout. He called timeout. Looks like Blankenship caught around and and yelled timeout. Well, then there has to be a foul. Something's got to be called here. A little confusion. It's not hard. I mean, he can foul him and so then still call now we get the full timeout. Time <laughs> we'll take just a quick break in the action to catch a breath and get a word from some of our sponsors. set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again. Tire pros. Hassle free. Get Where did you come from? Where did you come from? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've cut our breath and we're going to hold on. Just strap down in your seat for 10.8 seconds of probably chaos as the Bisons now are going to force the press. Lincoln County trying to inbound the ball, and we're going to get a uh, buzzer here. That was a inadvertent buzzer whistle. Okay, that was a timeout timer. So here we go, 10.8 seconds. The Panthers trying to inbound, getting into Tully. Tully. Oh, dangerous pass by Tully. Gets it to Carpenter. Up to Blankenship. Blankenship for two. Good seal it for the Panthers. So it looks like we're going to get we're going to get a timeout action here, maybe. We're going to get a timeout by the Bisons as we had a little bit of hesitation, so they're going to put some time back on the clock. We're going to have to pull the replay action back up, oh, folks. Using the using the instant replay. Using the instant replay, folks. This is the yeah. big time programs here at Lincoln County yeah. when we do the instant replay. Thanks to the guys at Video Production. Y'all want a blanket? <laughs> so here in the four, here it is the fourth quarter. Lincoln County with a three point lead, 49-46. Looks like we're going to get. 4.3 seconds put back on the clock. Yeah, the Buffalo coach did call timeout. I'm not sure how much time was left on yeah. the clock. Yeah, he did. I, we heard I him mean, call timeout. Yeah, I mean, he was calling timeout. So, um, I mean, the best thing to do there is just let it play out, and then you can sort it the way they are now, which nobody's happy about it, but that's the right <laughs> thing to do. That's the right thing to do, yeah. Yeah. 
So, again, folks, as we go, I hope you're strapped into your seat enjoying this West Virginia high school basketball game at its finest. The barn burner is taking place, and it's, it's been this way the whole ball game. So, it looks like Lincoln County going to play a little man-to-man press. With Lincolnship on the ball. Lincoln County's got a lot of fouls to give here, too. So. And it's a smart by, smart play by Isaiah Coons and the Panthers. Oh, yeah. you got plenty of fouls to give. Oh, you've got plenty of fouls. Yeah. You, so, you've got two more fouls to give here. So. No, they got f- five more fouls to oh, give. Oh, okay, yeah. they got five yeah, more I fouls mean, to I, give. So. I wouldn't even let them get it across half court. Exactly right. If you're Lincoln County. Yeah, we're going to get a timeout by Coach Plumley here. With 2.6 seconds to go, yes, you're exactly right. They've got five fouls to give. So, when they get an yeah. inbounds, just foul them. I mean, it, and you got to wonder if Coach Plumlee is going to call up a play where you just leave a guy wide open down here underneath the basket and go fouling. Yeah, go fouling. <laughs> exactly right. Now, I guess if you're Buffalo, you can anticipate that it's coming and try to act like you're throwing up a shot and maybe get a foul for a three-point play. But That'll be hard-pressed from, you know, the other side of the court. Yeah, I from mean, the length of the floor, it's going to be hard-pressed to call that foul, too. <laughs> if you're Buffalo, you're probably going to want to try to sling it on to your end. Um, yeah, hopefully. Maybe get, to make something happen. Because you know they're going to foul, so why not throw it up on this end? And Yeah, the old Christian Leitner Kentucky foul shot, you know. Oh, yeah. Throw it, you get it inbounds. That, maybe that get a steal. three. I remember watching that as a kid. Yeah, absolutely. But why Why did Kentucky – Not front him? No, why did they – they didn't need to guard the inbound pass. All you got to do is put a guy in front of him behind Christian Leitner and he doesn't never make that Absolutely. Shot. So with 2.6 seconds to go, Bisons have the ball, down three. Be interesting to see what they I try to do watch number here. 44 Hanshaw down here. Looks like they're going to set something up to get it on their far end. They did get in the 41 yep. who throws it up and just oh, off the backboard, and that will do it from Panther Pavilion with the final score, Lincoln County 49, Buffalo 46, and whoo, what a barn burner we have here in Lincoln County tonight. What a great game between two, two teams that just played their hearts out tonight, both of them. Those are the type of games you hate to see someone lose. Yeah, that was a really good, tough, hard-played game both sides. I mean, it was down to the wire to like the last minute. Absolutely, and it has been that way the whole ball game. We're going to take just a quick break in action to hear from some of our sponsors. We'll bring back a little post-game analysis. Did you know when you send or receive a text message, you take your eyes off the road for five seconds at 55 miles per hour? That's like driving more than the length of a football field blindfolded. As a result, thousands of people die every year in crashes related to distracted driving. That's why we're cracking down on people who text or use their smartphones while driving. We would rather you cross the goal line alive. Law enforcement officers write tickets to save lives. Don't text and drive. Coach Bob Huggins here at your local Little General store. As I travel this great state, it's nice to know that almost anywhere I go, there's a local Little General nearby. So the next time you're on the road, look for the Little General sign and tell them Hugs sent you. set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again. Tire Pros. Hassle-free. Guaranteed. Community Strong. We are Thornhill Ford Lincoln, your hometown dealer located on 119 near Chapmanville. Go Thornhill and expect the best with total value, support, and savings on your next vehicle. Don't miss out. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and thornhillford.net. Thursday, the... Well, welcome back to Panther Pavilion. Again, this, uh, Timmy, this was what we call the old-fashioned barn burner. And right now, I guess if I had to pick a player of the game, you know, for Lincoln County, I'm going to pick two because 
John and Jace both ended the, this one with 19 points apiece. We had scoring from Campbell Evans with three, Isaiah with four, Jackson Center with two, Will Carpenter with two, but those two seniors definitely uh, showed it on senior night. Yeah, they sure did. Uh, you know, and Scooter, three charges, you know, he's hitting his Every game, there, man, he's so, hitting his game. Um, so, yeah, it, I, I could agree with you on that, Brian. And then for Buffalo, I've got, you know, I've had to pick a player for their, their team, uh, Jackson England, you know, he – he lit it up. We had 12 points, but more so than that, I bet you he's got 20 rebounds tonight. Oh, he had double-double easy. Yeah, I mean, he he played a heck of a ball game. Again, this is one of those games that the whole game, I think the biggest lead probably Buffalo had maybe seven to two early in the ball game. But other than that, it was either a two-point ball game back and forth the whole second half and came down to the wire. But what a huge play from the senior, Jace Tully, to steal that ball at half court. You know, Buffalo has a one-point lead. It looked like they were going to break that press pretty easily, and he comes away with the steal. Yeah, Buffalo did a really good job of slowing the game down to not, to their level. I mean, they didn't want to play this fast break, run and gun like Lincoln County plays. They wanted a more of a uh, – As you can see the replay action here, and you can see Lincoln County does a nice job and look at Blankenship with a spin move, and that was the one that put them in the lead for good. Yeah, I mean – and then you got to give credit, Buffalo, you know, slowed the game down big time to this half-court set for the three-point shots. And and know. they controlled the boards. They oh, did yeah. a magnificent job on the boards yeah, tonight. You, I give them a lot of credit. You have to think Buffalo's coach said, you know, if we hold Lincoln County down their 50 and we're within, you know, four points at the end, you know, we got a chance to win. Yeah, absolutely. And, and they did. But you know what? I'll give a lot of credit also. The Panthers showing a little bit of grit tonight, you know, oh, showing yeah, they showed, can win in different ways. Heart. Well, I mean, if you look back to over the weekend, they played Liberty, you know, buzzer beater win up there, you know. Uh, Jay Stully passes to John at the buzzer to win that ball game. Yeah, it's a uh, – they kind of a four-game win streak now, and I think they've had this game, another buzzer beater that night, a one-point win a couple nights before that. So, hey, living on the edge but living right. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, they got another Putnam County school coming in here Saturday, Brian. A hurricane looking to go uh, – 2-0, and against, well, actually 3-0 and against Putnam County Schools. Yeah, so, folks, we'll take uh, – we'll get ready to say goodbye here in our broadcast here from Panther Pavilion. But, again, join us again this Saturday night, as you said, as the uh, Lincoln County Panthers for the last game of this COVID seat regular season. They take on the Hurricane Redskins. That will be another tough challenge for the Panthers, but one I think they can rise up to. Yeah, I mean, that's why you play the games. That's exactly right. So, folks, again, my name is Brian Vance, and on behalf of my tag team partner, Tim Grayley, and the folks at Video Productions, this broadcast brought to you by Armstrong Cable. Visit them at www.armstrongonewire.com. We look forward to seeing you next Saturday for another Lincoln County Panther broadcast.